Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm going to be testing and unboxing the PyTorch MR15. The MR15 is a 1200 lumen flashlight and it has several different light output modes. It also accepts up to five different types of batteries and you could also recharge your device with it. So super cool. So I'm going to get it unboxed because that's what I do. I unbox things for you and tell you why you should potentially want to buy them or not. And then we'll get this thing outside a little bit later and I'll show you how bright it gets. All right, first things first. Let's get this bad boy open. All right, so got a little user's manual. Got to have that. So that's going to tell you all the different ways to use it. That's how it's going to come right here when you get this thing out of the box. You get to the holster first. It has a holster right here. And I don't want to lose everything because there's a bunch of stuff in here. Put that off to the side. There's something else in here. There's even more stuff. God, they put so much stuff in the holster. This thing comes with a lot of stuff. Okay, holster's empty. Velcro, snap on the back. So, multiple ways that you can strap this to your backpack or to your belt. Gotta have that. That's super cool. It comes with a wrist lanyard. I'm not big on wrist lanyards, but that's cool that it comes with one. It comes with a little, another, uh, like a separate o-ring just for the uh, for the flashlight itself this way you can keep the uh, keep the internals from getting wet you have a USB to micro USB charging cable got to have that that's how you can charge it then you have your adapter so this is for like three AAA batteries so the flashlight is compatible with five different batteries um, you could use the 18650 you could use three AAA batteries you could do two CR 123As you could use 21700 batteries or 2700 batteries so there's several different options for battery usage for a flashlight like this which is great wide range of batteries you know some, a lot of these flashlights only take one kind of battery and that's it and that's your only choice and sometimes that's fine but when you have multiple options that's cool too as for your PyTorch MR15 here it is right here unscrew the tail cap here it has a little insulating film as a lot of these flashlights do this way it doesn't you know kill the battery while it's in the packaging it comes with a 5000 milliamp 21700 battery it comes with it so that's cool it's a huge battery 5000 milliamp lithium ion battery so that's awesome Put that bad boy down in there. Take the insulating film off. Screw this back in. It screws together really, really nicely. There's a nice O-ring around the butt cap here and I'll show you what it looks like. Let me just unscrew this. So if you see that right around here, nice O-ring, everything is machined really, really well. It fits together really nicely. It screws together very smooth. All right, now I don't know if you can see that, but if you just half push the battery or the, the on button, it has a little LED indicator. So I'll try to block the sun as much as I can. I don't know if you can see that. So you have your big button right here. That's what turns the flashlight on and off. And then the little button cycles through. So you have low, medium, high, and then turbo. And then it cycles back down. And if you push and hold it, it goes into strobe. And then you, the big button, shuts it off. It does have a nice little knurled uh, kind of a nut pattern on the outside here so that's going to prevent it from rolling extreme far distances. If it was just flat and smooth it would roll forever but that thing it'll just like and then eventually it'll just stop. So if it's rolling and it's on like a smooth surface and something shifts and this thing starts to roll it's only going to roll for a certain amount. It has a nice little ring around the edge here and it's nice and flat so this thing can stand up. All right so while the flashlight is off, right? No light on at this point. If you push and hold the raised button right here and hold it for two seconds, it's gonna activate your tactical strobe, right? And it'll stay on. And you push and hold it again, a couple seconds, it turns it off. Direct access to turbo mode, the flat button right here, push and hold that, boom, turbo mode. Now granted it's, daylight and it's pretty warm out. So um, once the sun goes down, I'll show you how bright this sucker really gets. I also said that this thing is USB rechargeable. And if you notice right here, it says close USB open. So you would open this just like this. And then there's your USB port right there. So you plug this bad boy in, plug it into a USB power bank or into your um, wall outlet, and then you could recharge it it also has an LED light 
battery meter on the side. Now, as for the tail cap where it says lock and unlock, super easy. It's just pretty much a quarter turn. And uh, I know that seemed like more of a half a turn, but a quarter turn is gonna prevent the flashlight from turning on. So, it won't turn on. Turn it back. Turns it back on. Now, you could just do quarter turn like that. It won't turn on. This way, you could prevent it from accidentally turning on in your backpack, which is cool. The MR15 has a max output of 1200 lumens, right? So 1200 lumens, that's the turbo mode. It'll last two and a half hours. So that's pretty substantial. High is 345 lumens, and that will last about seven hours. Medium is 100 lumens, about 25 hours, so a full day at medium. Low is six lumens at 229 hours. And then strobe is 1200 lumens for about five hours. In an emergency situation, you could leave this thing on strobe, help find, uh, or, you know, six lumens, plenty enough light to read a map at night um, or read your book or whatever, you know, futz around inside your tent trying to find some stuff. But this thing for an actual, like, I wouldn't say it's like an everyday carry, but it very well could be. It's a little on the heavy side, but it's really nice and very well made. It's also aerospace uh, grade aluminum. It also has a military spec hard anodized uh, finish. So that's really gonna help with abrasions and scratches and dings and dents and that kind of stuff from just beating it around and you know, dropping it and that kind of thing. It also has a metal framed reflector on the inside here. So that's really gonna produce a nice, you know, intense beam. It's like mirror polish too. So as I said, once we get this thing outside later, I'll show you how equal the beam is and how bright it really gets. It's also IPX8 waterproof rated and drop proof to one meter. So you can take this thing and throw it, and as long as it's like within a meter, it should be fine. So right now I'm gonna show you how bright this sucker gets. All right guys, so I'm across the street from my house and I have the Flight Torch MR15, and I'm gonna turn it on right now. So this is low. You can't really see it that good. But there's medium, high, and then turbo. And turbo is pretty wicked. I mean, that's a serious beam right there. Super bright. And then you're pushing, you can go into strobe too. Let it go, goes back down to low. Hit the button, turn it off. Now we're gonna light up this tree. So you can't really probably see that, but that's low, that's medium, that's high and then turbo, and turbo is crazy bright. Also push and hold it and go into strobe. But, that's a serious light output right there, this thing's nice. Go back down into low. Turn it off. All right, guys, so that's my review of the MR15 from Fight Torch. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making some pretty nice flashlights. Um, they're nice price, too, so definitely want to make sure you check them out. If you guys have any questions or comments about the MR15, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down there, and make sure you also hit the bell icon, because when you do that, you're gonna be subscribed to my channel as well as get notified every time I post a new video. And I post new videos every week. So it's the best way to stay in touch with everything that I'm coming out with. I have some really cool stuff coming. So definitely wanna make sure you subscribe. And also make sure you hit that bell icon. If you guys liked my review and found it informative, you wanna buy one of these for yourself, make sure you click on that link down in my description box down below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. Thanks again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care guys, get outdoors.